most people that I know who are, who are medical doctors, um, I run into them, always ask me, why would you go from, medical, uh, from a medical degree into mathematics? Boundaries in life, I think, are man-made. This master's in biomathematics has, I think, enhanced my medicine. I happen to have worked with, uh, with, uh, with a wonderful gentleman, a very good scientist, Professor uh, Ogutu. They needed somebody to help run uh, a study at Kemri. And so I, ran, I came and helped run that study. And he was based at Strathmore University. So naturally, I was also based at Strathmore, Strathmore University. And even after the study, I kept working um, under his tutelage. So when I came, the study that was being done was one where we um, you know, injected healthy volunteers with the parasite that causes malaria. The Ethics Review Board allowed us to do this on condition that as soon as the patient showed signs and or symptoms of, of infection, then we would have to treat. And so um, you know, we did that experiment and as soon as people did turn positive, we, we treated them um, for malaria so that therefore we had no uh, adverse or serious, what they call serious adverse side effects. And so in the end, we needed to know a few other questions. Like for example, if you hadn't treated, which was not an option, you had to treat, but assuming you hadn't treated, then what would have happened to the patient? That would be unethical to do. And so enter Strathmore and enter biomathematics because then you can just use mathematics, uh, computation, to be able to tell you uh, what the model of disease would have looked like had you not treated. And so now you're doing it on paper and you're doing it on uh, computers. It's a nice way to model. We already have some data before the patient became sick. And we can use that data and say, well, if this graph looks like this uh, up until the point where we treated, then what would this gra graph look like if we had continued? So you stop the patient while the patient is safe and then you continue to postulate what might have happened had you not treated, but on a computer and on paper, which is completely safe. So yes, it has totally enhanced my own knowledge of medicine and I think in the future, it will enhance others, I, I believe. I think that Strathmore, in my own personal view, um, has it right um, for the most part. I know that I have had in, in the past, you know, serious challenges, academic challenges. I'm not the best exam taker, things like that. And so, you know, I feel like when it comes to practicalities, when you're seeing things in real life, almost like in medical school, um, after you finish your academic years, you go into the, into the hospital and actually see real patients under the tutelage of somebody who knows what they're doing. Uh, Strathmore is like that, so that then they bring people from industry who treat you and train you. It's a blended thing. Uh, and Strathmore is not confined to the political boundaries of Kenya. So it goes beyond just the geographic boundaries and into um, the world. So they'll, they'll often find the best experts, bring those best experts as guest uh, speakers who will come and show you by demonstration, this is what we do in industry.